What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do uh, the third video in the series on my water catchment system. Um, and I'm going to install these gutters. First thing I'm going to do um, is paint them. And uh, this is the paint that I used on the trim on my shed, which is why I'm using it so that the gutters will match the trim on the shed. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to scuff scuff up the this is vinyl, these are vinyl um, gutters and we need to scuff it up a little bit with some sandpaper so that the paint will have something to adhere to. Okay, I've got this piece scuffed up and uh, ready for paint now. I've already started on these other two pieces and as you can see I'm definitely going to need to do two coats. Okay, after the gutters we're going to go ahead and paint some of the miscellaneous pieces that we need to complete our gutter system. Um, it will include pieces like these end cap pieces these downspout um, adapters, I forget what they're called, the technical term, but basically it's what sends the water downward from, from the actual gutter. And then we have these, these adapters. Um, now I'm not going to make a parts list for you because your, your roof and your gutter system is going to be radically different than mine. But you are going to need um, some sort of adapter like this. This is sold at Home Depot. This is a two inch by three inch by four foot or four inch PVC adapter. And it's offset a little bit to kind of keep it away from the, the wall so you can get a, a four inch PVC. But four inch PVC is way too big for this. So you're gonna need to convert from four inches down further. But you're gonna have a really hard time finding um, something that goes directly from like a two by three gutter to let's say a two inch PVC which would be more appropriate which is what I'm going to be using. Alright I'm done with the painting now of the gutters. I've got some some tools and all of my parts together and we're going to go ahead and start installing the gutters on the, uh, the side of the soffits here on this shed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some end caps an end cap on one of these 10 foot sections. Now this shed is 12 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and put one piece up and then so we can measure how much extra we need. There's gonna be a, another piece that I'm gonna to need to do and then there's gonna be the downspout on the end. And we're also, when we do this, we're gonna to need to put about an inch or so slope on this so that it will, and I'm gonna use a level to make sure that it, it's gonna drain, but it's gonna to need to drain this direction so that it can go down the downspout. Before we get this gutter piece up there we need to put on these hangers and they need to be threaded from the outside so before you put the end piece on you need to thread these things into the lip here and so they just kind of slide in and we want these to be every two feet. Okay so I let this dry a little bit and now I've got it propped up and I'm ready to attach the hangers with my drill. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space on the edge to make sure that I get all of the, the rain dripping down. And then once I've got this up there, I'm going to, like I said, measure the rest so I know how much the gutters or the uh, downspout's gonna be on the end and then there's gonna be another piece that I have to measure. Okay, this is day three of getting the, the gutters installed. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, the front gutter installed definitely need to touch up some paint uh, as I put the thing together obviously paint chipped off and so forth and then uh, painting the, the hangers um, to match we'll have to do that afterward as a finishing touch but got this side on and got this side assembled now one thing as with most any project you learn as you go and it's definitely going to be easier to pre-assemble the whole piece uh, before you put it up um, as I explained to you, I did yesterday, I put up this long piece first and then put on the connector and then a 23 inch piece and then the downspout and then the end cap and end cap and it's, it's doable but it, it was a lot more work uh, up on the ladder. Okay, now what we're doing is I'm designing the PVC system that's going to carry the water from the downspout um, it's going to come down around this bend over 
and then into the top of the IBC tote and it's got to collect with the other side. It's going to come together and then come down. Now I'm not going to bother trying to teach you how to do PVC pipe. There's a million other videos on YouTube I'm sure that will do a much better job. Uh, but I am using two inch pipe which is more than plenty for the calculations I've done for the rainfall to collect from this roof. And I'm going to put that together and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, here it is, all finished. Got the, uh, the PVC piping installed into the IBC tote. And this open end here will be an overflow that I'm going to plumb down, kind of like a normal downspout. As you can see in here, the water will come and drop down into the tank first, and then if it gets up, um, higher than that to overflow, it'll come down this pipe and out. Um, I had to rig up some little, because the pipe was too far away from the, the wall, I had to rig up some, some spacers there. Obviously I have some touch up paint to do, some finishing up, some painting, but pretty much it's done. I tested it out, it works, the water runs. As you can see, there's a visible slope which isn't quite as pleasing to the eye as I would have hoped. And I have some painting of some things there, but it runs down and uh, collects beautifully. So mission accomplished. Total cost is about $250 total for everything, including the tote. So that's not too bad. And this will give me 275 gallons of water storage for my prep. Thanks for watching guys.